How do you actually check if the remote ID that you have enabled on your drone is actually broadcasting? In one of the previous videos, I showed you how to enable remote ID on a C1 drone, which is actually a requirement from January 1st, 2024. And it covers the C1 to C4 drones in the open category. A few of you have asked, how do we actually check that uh, this uh, broadcasting is uh, working? And I have revealed a little bit about it. You need an Android phone and on that phone you need to install something called Drone Scanner. And this application will scan the area and show you what drones are actually in the area broadcasting remote ID. And for this example, we will be using the Air 3, which we in one of the previous videos actually enabled the remote ID. Let me just show you. So if I go under safety, under, yeah, uh, it's down here somewhere. US remote identification, you can see that uh, right now that the number is in there, which means that the remote uh, ID broadcasting um, feature is active. So, as you can see right now here on, uh, on the phone, there's actually no, uh, yeah, there's no UAVs uh, around us where we fly. So what we basically need to do is we need to put the drone outside. Because it does not work unless the motors are spinning. So one thing that I need to mention is that to be able to make this work, I actually couldn't make it work for a start. You need to make sure that all the permissions in the app is enabled and you can go to that through these three points here under preferences and then you can say open the app settings and in here you can see all the permissions that is uh, needed there's the location um, service and the nearby devices uh, needs to be enabled if that is okay you should be able to check if it works if you press the cross here yeah, and then it should send a basically to the position where you are right now. That at least worked for me and I tried. <laughs> Morning Ninja. <laughs> I tried the same setup on my iOS device and uh, for some strange reason, I couldn't make it work there, but I have made it work here on Android and that ca I can hopefully show you here shortly. Let's start the engines and let the drone hover. Just so now the drone is hovering outside the window and then hopefully with a little delay, it's not like instant. Yes, now it showed up. And as you can see, if you compare with the, the screenshot that I showed before, you can see that the, my uh, operator, drone operator ID number is uh, visible uh, below uh, the yeah, yeah. So if I press this one, you can see there's all sorts of information uh, about the drone that is uh, sitting hovering here outside the window. So that's uh, pretty. Uh, that's pretty cool. There's also some confidential information. <laughs> I don't want to show you. <laughs> so there's the um, the Wi-Fi beacon. There's the signal strength. There's the MAC address. Uh, it's when it's first seen, last seen. Uh, how many packages that it has received. There's um, yeah, the UAV type, that's a helicopter multi-rotor. You can give it its own label if you want to have it show up as your own aircraft. There's a status, it's airborne. You get some location information. Uh, you get a lot, of, uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of stuff that you need to know to determine where the aircraft is actually yeah, present. And then there's of course the whole operator ID, where there's also the location of where I'm located. So, if I press this one, it will actually show you where I'm located. So apart from the information about the aircraft, it actually also is possible through this app to locate the pilot. And that, I don't know if I really like that uh, feature. That will give an advantage to the Birdman, that's for sure. <laughs> Pretty much show up anyway. So this was a short demonstration um, about the, the remote idea, how the, you can uh, sort of determine if your drone is actually broadcasting this. 
And I've been discussing with one of you a little bit about how remote ID actually works and also what tests uh, that there uh, could be done to sort of explore this topic. But if you have a specific question that you want an answer to, then let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.